welcome to Jake. Today, we are putting my computer into a new case. With me, Roro DG Games. And Aria Noel Dance Party. My children Noel Dance Party. are going to kind of learn how to build a computer. Yes, we are. So here we go. Pretty wash. Look at Derry too. Whoa. Tag, you're in. Alright, so now in my computer we have the Gigabyte AB350M Gaming 3. Yes. I know it's not the greatest, mm -hmm. fastest, yeah. but for now it does the trick. We'll be upgrading that eventually. Yeah, I, love you. I love you too. Then we have the HyperX Fury RGB. This will be a scratch drive for me, for editing yeah. all my videos. Yep. <laughs> we got three in one fans, dual sync, dark flash fans. And we got some RGB uh, heat sinks yep. for our uh, RAM. And we're going water cooling this time. Yes, we, we got are. the dark flash tracer DT240 AIO. Not that water cooling keeps it any cooler than air cooling, but uh, unless it's custom. But it looks cool, so that's why we're doing it. Yeah. Then we got the beef. Beef, beef, beef. Beefy beef. beef. The case. Yes. The we case. got Dark Flash's T20. This is actually a really nifty case. Yeah. And don't worry, I already pre-opened it. But let's get that out of here. Get all that out of there. There yeah, we go. There it is. Dark Flash's case. Yeah. RGB on the front. Mm -hmm. RGB down on the side. Yeah. And a nice real acrylic glass. Real acrylic for our uh, viewing window. Yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and get this thing built. First, we're going to do is remove the acrylic glass. Yes, we will. All right. You want to help me out here? I'm gonna hold this glass up. I'll just be relaxing. Keep it from falling. Maybe put a hand here. I'll just be relaxing for a while. Hand here, hand there. Make sure it doesn't fall. And put our uh, screws in a place. Yeah. And then this shit. There. Peels off. Real acrylic glass. Real acrylic We'll put this off to the if side. You buy, if you buy that one, it might be real or not. All right. Real? There's our inside. Comes with one pre-installed fan. It is not RGB controllable, so we're yeah. probably going to remove this sucker. Um, and uh, some zip ties. Looks like they give you some stuff here for lots of nice cable management. In this, you get room for two hard drives down here. You have uh, room for your two SSDs right here. We're going to do one SSD, and then I'm. Gonna eventually be putting in a five terabyte hard drive as a uh, secondary uh, backup hard drive. And uh, yeah, removable, removable vents or filters, because our house gets dusty, so we have lots of air filters we're gonna have to remove. And uh, yeah. Hey, can I grab one of the fans? Yeah, I wanna grab the other one. This way, let's do this one right here. Right here. Okay. Get, uh, yeah, you get those fans out running, we'll work together. Ooh, there's different colors. It's nice, got the screws. You got the screws, yeah. Okay, we got the cable. That is the RGB. Uh, and let's grab the first one right out. The one with the cable sticking out. Come on, it's hard to get it out. Okay. There we go. Got it. Okay. Okay, so. Whoa! Whoa. So. You can change it any color you want. Okay, and. Actually, a nice fan there. Yeah, it is. Oops. These are even nicer, though. That's the thing. Now we can. We're going to put our water cooling up so, on the top. That's yeah. up. We're able to mount that up here. So. Can I open like, up? Can I open the feet? That's the RGB RAM. Sure, open it up. So, 
the, this is the color changer. Color change color changer. You can do all. You can do red, green, or blue. Isn't that right, Dad? Wait, it is right. That okay. is for our RAM. But I can't it change it right with, now? This comes with a screwdriver? Yes, it does. Alright, so he has the Fury hard drive here. You yeah. get some paperwork with it. Yeah, but but if it's not plugged in. And then in, the hard drive itself. But if it's not plugged in. RGB hard drive. Yeah, but if it's not plugged in, it's just red. Yes, you have to have the controller or motherboard, which I do not have, so it will just be red. There yeah. is a hard drive case for this, so you can put this, mount this on a normal uh, 3.5 oh, millimeter slot. Thing. But we we're going to put ours in here for the time being. Then it comes with a beautiful, awesome screwdriver. All oh, the tools you can need to build oh. your. Oh my! Your, uh, Are you ever going to use that, Tristan? Oh yeah, we're going to use it today. What? Yes. Oh, no, here we go. Then it also comes with a hard drive case. Yes. Uh, I suppose you could probably use this with another one, but it's meant for this Kingston Hyper Fury. Oh, RGB yeah. hard drive. They give you a SATA cable, which I have lots of them. We'll probably need to take advantage some of that though. Screws. Some screws for putting the hard drive within Sticker. here. <laughs> yep, that's so you can put it on front of your case and see I got hyper fury in there, which you know what? Yeah, we'll do that right now. Mm -hmm. put oh it my god. Right out of the case. Or maybe the side panel, because I kinda like that case. I don't know. I'll think about it. We will, maybe we not, maybe we will. Oh, and uh, just hey, hard. And a Kingster software activation. True image HD software Excuse activation. Me. So it's a software oh, activation no. card. So that's all that's in this box. Hi. We're not going to use this. We're not going to use this. We'll keep the paperwork in here. And we're not going to use this for right now. But it doesn't mean I won't use it for other hard drives, for other things I may have to use it for in the future. So let's put that back in there. It's like a pen. Why don't we? Why don't we get the, put those two things over on the side? We want to the get them off of here. Oh, guys, there's something that's along this box. I have no. So we'll pull one of our hard drive slots out. Yeah. Rowan, which one do you think the? Uh, which one do you think the RGB one should go on? This slot or this slot? Oh, I think we should do this slot. This one? Yeah. Perfect. All right, Brian. Yeah. I'm going to give you a job of installing the hard drive. So what we do is, we pulled this out. This case is actually really nice. So you pretty much put it in, slide forward, and it locks in. Pull it out, slide back. So with that, we got our cable management right there. So we're going to put it so that our cables go there. You line those screws up, see the screw holes here? Line them up to right there. And where were those screws that we pulled out? Here they are. So looks like these would be the screws hey, we use. Hey Dad, there's only three. There's only four. And just screw them into the screw holes. This front I know this is really nice. You probably can't see it here, but it has plugs, so you're able to remove front I/O off. Da, 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 da. The front case da, 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 da. thing off without having your cables dangle and dangle and dangle and everything. So this right here. Uh -huh. See what focuses. Yeah. Right there. That's uh, our little connection point for all our RGB. So we put our Hyper Fury hard drive in. Of course, you don't ever want to get too far ahead of yourself. I tend to do that, but where we will go up there and get that uh, motherboard. But this hard drive with this connection and everything is pretty dang simple and easy. And you see, they just slide in and out there. You put it in the bracket on, you're good to go. Now that we got all the fans in, we're going to do the water cooling. Now, probably would be best to do the water cooling after I get my motherboard in, but uh, my motherboard's not that big and it's busy doing other things right now, so I figured it might bite me in the ass, but maybe I'll get lucky here and I can do some of the prep work now. So, in here for our AO water cooling, you got instructions, some styrofoam, two non-addressable RGB fans. Um, yeah. Um, we have hardware and we have our water cooler, AIO water cooler, the RGB on the on the front and whatnot. Whoa! Yeah. That is so cool. It is right. It is, and this will light up. 
You'll go right there, light up. This will be mounted up there. Yeah. So, first time I've ever water cooled. That's why I did AIO. A I O. So, let's take a peek in the instructions. And I don't ever do that. But with a computer, last thing I want is leaky water. So, hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Several months later. I got my old one here now. Offline. Very dirty, dusty. Gotta clean her up. And on the new one here, we got all the fans installed. Front, back, three RGB in the front. This one is non controllable RGB. I got a five terabyte hard drive for all my uh, archive videos. And then a the Fury hard drive, SSD actually, for all my, um, for my scratch drive to edit my videos. Then, we got water cooling because we said we're doing water cooling here. Got two non addressable RGB fans up here and a RGB water cooler head. So, on the inside here, I discovered this does not come off, but on the back, we have a hard drive stand. It holds two hard drives. You mount the one on the top and one in the middle. I will be mounting ones in the middle when we're done, but that is my three terabyte one for videos and stuff like that for home photos and stuff like that that I need to keep stored, three terabytes. So, but this boy, she's a mess. Let's see what we gotta do. Why don't we blow her out with some air, I got some air. Oh! Yeah, let's get it away from the old one, the new one. Oh, yeah. Fan spin, right? Fan spin? Oh, yeah. Whew. How many sakes? Get away from me. Get away. All the dust. All the dust. No. Alright, for real so. Okay. What do we gotta do here? Well let's start with taking the motherboard out. This is an old case I have laying around. So Time to retire, she'll become eventually probably the case for a uh, uh, backup storage server in another house. So if my house ever burns down, this stuck here will store all my data. Let's uh, put the last component of this computer out, which is the power supply. And I think we're pretty much done with this. There. All right. There's a power supply. We are pretty much done with this. Moving on. Oof. Where did my compressed air go? Jesus. Cold. Well, that stuff's caked on. Uh, compressed air. Actually, now that I think of this, I bought this a, a while ago. It's a power supply from my mom's computer. I stole it from her. Thanks, mom. I gave her like a cheaper one or something, I believe. I don't remember. Let's get these fans stuck. <coughs> Next thing about this case is cable management is all hidden underneath this front front area right here. So that's nice. So let's get this 
in, should go in. Let's see what we, nice way to get the heat going up. Of course we could blow the heat down, but we may not have a choice. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice. I think it goes like that, yep. So the heat's gonna be blown down. It's not a good deal, but you take what you get. So, let's get her in. Power supply in. Now, what I like to do is let's get up close here before putting the motherboard in and let us get these RAM sticks. Two, three, four. RAM sticks. And the CPU cooler off. Let's bring her in close. Alrighty. You can barely see me, but let's get these RAM sticks RGB. You got these. Nifty little RGB RAM sticks. Four of them. One, two, three, four. And some hink sinks things for them. And then this little screwdriver. The first thing is we do, take them all apart. So, let's take it all apart. Two screws. And open this up. And what we do is we have this thing. This must be the heat stuff. And an extra screw, because they probably assume you're gonna lose one of the screws. And then we have this thing, black thing. I don't know why this wouldn't be installed prior, but I guess this goes here. And then this goes there. Oh, okay, I get this. I think I get this. This is to hold the RAM into place so that it doesn't come off. Single side RAM, that goes like that. Perfect. And then you get this heat sink stuff. And this goes over top of the actual RAM. I'm not even caring if it cools it or not, but nice data cools it, so. I care about the RGB. RGB RAM. And this goes. Over. But that doesn't really fit, does it now? We're gonna take a break. All right, so I figured it out. If you have short RAM, you use these little stubs. Long RAM, you don't use it at all. So, now that we got that one done, we can cruise. sure they're all lined up because these can actually adjust a little bit. You know there's hink sinks. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. Many months later. So, Hi, I'm here. it's been a couple months. We went on vacation stuff like that so we had, a, by the point I got frustrated with all the fans and stuff, I decided to just upgrade the whole damn thing. <laughs> we got Ryzen 9 3900X. Whoa, that's a lot. We have our MSI GeForce GTX 1070 Ti we're putting in there and a MSI X570 Lightning 4 Gaming Plus motherboard. So, 
and blah blah blah. Me, 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 me. Ronan, what's the first thing we do? Yep, that's a good place. Put the CPU in the motherboard. Motherboard. And you just kind of line the uh, lines up, and the arrows, and put it in. Motherboard. Yeah, that's right. Now. Then you put the motherboard in. What do you think is next, Ronan? I have no idea. It smells weird. Not... Um. <laughs> you put you could put the RAM in. That's what I chose to do. And uh, what do you think is next then? Uh, I put the video, yeah, I put the video card in, yep, put the video card in, the 1070 Ti, then when we got that done, I wired everything up, and uh, yeah, I flipped the, uh, I moved that uh, water cooler more than once, but now that she's all in there, uh, what do you think, anything else? I don't know. Power supply, then we put the power supply in, pick it up, power supply is right here. Oh, that's a big giant thing. That's the power. Powers everything. And if you look, you can also see it through the hole right there. Yep. <laughs> then, yep. put our hard drives in. What? You also want to boot it up. The first time you boot it up, it could oh, boot yeah. more than once. Or it might go through a couple boot cycles. Yeah. Uh, until it's finally booted up. Yeah. And then once it posts, yeah. you're all good. So, with that said, we have to do a little bit more wiring here. Ah. And, um, Dad. then we'll power it up. Yeah. So, what? You're literally, you were literally smushing me. Stop! You're smushing me! <laughs> Alright. So, Why should we finish you? wiring it up? Yeah! yeah it was finished. Mm -hmm. It's not finished wiring it up. We got all these wires. You think this is finished? Oh, the wires! Alright. Oh. Definitely not with the screwdriver. <laughs> A few moments later. Alright now. So we got it all hooked up, all put in here now. All right, side power on. Here we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So let's see if she boots up in a BIOS. And of course she will. I've already done this. Messed around with some of the controller settings. Put her on max boost. But, just to show you here, there she is. She's running at uh, 380 gigahertz from Game Boost on. There we go. Uh, memory is 24, we have uh, 27 uh, gigabytes. And, uh, So we are going to exit them. Oh, hold on. Storage. We have all these. All the hard drives are hooked up. So I'm gonna save. There we go. Should be right into Windows. There she is. Boom, she's up. So we'll power her down. Put the glass on. Alright. With the help of my assistant here. Just stop. He's going to peel the front plate. Let's see. Pan off. I need the plate. Don't that sound nice? Yeah. All right. Okay, Dad, what are we going to do? Now. We got to add it on? There we go. Uh, All right. Power it on. There we go. I wanted to play. I said, I was asking so if she's you wanted to play with me. Whoa, that's the one I really want. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that PC. Ooh, look at, and look at the fresh, fresh, fresh. Oh, wait, I need the underglow. The underglow. The underglow. The, the dragon. <laughs> the dragon. MSI? MSI. We want all MSI here? 
All MSI? Yeah. MSI. We have a HyperX Fury in there. Move Still got that. Five terabytes. All right. Can now that she's on, one? why don't you get the nice peel? Everyone be quiet. The nice peeling. Ah, there's that nice peel. And then I can't really see. Nobody can see mine. So, all my computer jobs are a messy job. This one had the most problems. I had to put the fans inside, move them around. The other computer, or the other computer, I had to buy extensions, and it still is just Wait, what? Pain in the ass. Yeah, Say yeah. What? Put the thing together. Got all that ramp put on. Then I put it together, and then. Turned out I didn't have a correct um, the brackets to put the uh, AMD uh, water cooler bracket on, so we ended up just getting a whole new motherboard and everything. Motherboard? Yeah, it's a brand new motherboard. And then brand new CPU. And then there might the, be fingerprints in the glass. Uh, please don't touch your glass. What? Because I don't want to touch the glass. What? Don't touch my glass. So that looks beautiful. That looks gorgeous. Dogs. We have dogs. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is why we can't have nice stuff. Dogs. Yeah. 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 Anyways. And cats. I'm Tristan. This is Ronan from Roro DT Games. Check out his channel. Yeah. This is Brayden. Subscribe to it. My channel. Yeah? Well, subscribe down here in our channel first. And yeah, then and then head over. Yeah, to Click my channel. Click the link channel. at the end of this video. Head over to his uh, channel. But, uh... This was Tay and Tay, you're it. it.